Hey guys, what's up? So, recently there was a patch, of course, and I see a lot of, I guess, drama on Twitter as a result. And so I kind of wanted to make this video last minute just to talk about, like, patches and, I guess, the power of being a top player in our opinion. So first I want to talk about patches. Patches, of course, are, I think, a great thing for a game because it lets us take a game and say, okay, what are the issues with this game? Let's fix them. And of course, we don't do that directly. Developers do. But if you look at Melee, that game's around for 15 years. I think the European version was like kind of like a patch when they released it. But outside of that, the game has not been touched. You know, balance-wise, only like six or seven characters you really see at top level play consistently. Out of a cast of 25, you know, there's only a few stages. There's a lot of glitches. And if you were to patch with that game, the game would probably be drastically different. Even if it was only patched for like a couple years. Brawl. Brawls end up running like ran by only Ice's Meta by the time it like pretty much stopped being competitive. And if we had patches for that game, everything could have been different. Smash 4, we have patches. Look at this game from day one. Look at this game now. The game is very different. While the game plays the same, the balance has changed, there's more levels, glitches are removed, glitches are added, and just there's the game is barely what it was like a year ago. It's insane. And I think it personally is is for better because Unless the developer doesn't know what they're doing, a lot of times patches just end up helping. But the problem is, as much as patches are great because they let us fix the game, because when people get a game, you know, playtesters play a game, say, a team of a thousand people, I don't know the exact numbers. A thousand people play this game for a few years, try to figure things out, like um, balance, glitches, how characters should work, just all this stuff. And then the game's are released. A couple million people play it. Within a week of playing, the game, this company of people probably put on more hours into playing the game than the people who play tested the game put into over the course of two or three years. We take it all the combined hours. And so we're going to find things almost immediately that the developers were not ready for. Broken things, glitches, strategies. We're just going to kind of develop the game rapidly. And no developer can be ready for this. And so that's why patches are so great. They can adjust that. But the problem is people become reliant on patches. So you have a patch come out. And people say, oh my god, patch. I hope Sheik was nerfed. She better have been nerfed. I hope ZSS was nerfed when I'm quitting the game. Luigi better have been nerfed. Oh my god, Luigi was nerfed. Oh my god, why isn't Rosa nerfed? And you have, like, all these people freaking out the patches at any level of play. And the problem is, though, people will get expected of patches. So, I remember before this patch came out, I had people like that would say, hey, look, do you think Rosa's gonna get nerfed? Do you think Rosa should be nerfed? Oh, it's Sheik. Sheik's getting, definitely getting nerfed. Luigi should get nerfed. Luigi's not getting nerfed. Luigi should get buffed. He's not winning events. And I'm going to quit the game if this character's not nerfed. Or I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just wait for my character to be buffed instead of actually picking a better character or learning more things with my character. And, you know, you just have people that, like, on all levels of play, rely on the patch. And they get upset when the patch doesn't do what they want to do, which is understandable to an extent, but I feel like people, as a result, don't put the time in to figure out the game as much as they should because patches kind of let them ignore that step. You know, if you have a million people crying to Nintendo to make it so Luigi can't do down throw down B, chances are Nintendo's gonna say, okay, we have a million people crying about this, let's remove this. And thus you have Luigi in this patch. Or if you have, say, we know Sheik's best character in the game, let's say, but say only 100 people are saying this and providing proof, Sheik might not be touched because not enough people are giving the attention to Nintendo for them to care. And then people get mad when she isn't touched. And it's just like, the community relies on patches, I feel like. And that's not a good thing. People should be trying to figure out the game on their own and just, like, play the game. Like, this game's been out for a year now. It's been a lot of time to figure things out. The metagames advance fast, but it can still advance fast. So there's a lot of depth in this game and a lot of things to work with. And so I just wanted to put that out there as, like, patches are good. But we can't treat them as the solution to everything. Because the solution could simply just be as people getting better, experimenting more. And something else I want to talk about now is, I guess, top player power. So, as a top player, my opinion is pretty important. Like, if I say something on Twitter, and it's like, it's whatever, it might blow up. If Esim says something, if Zero says something, it'll probably blow up. Now, if George McSmorge, the uh, 25th placer at Locals with Gandalf, says something, it could be the same exact thing. He could write an essay on what everything he's talking about, and people would probably not care because, oh, look, he's not a top player. He gets 25th of locals. And now, there's two sides to this. 
One is yes, top players, generally speaking, we know a lot more about the game. That's why we're good at the game, because we're knowledgeable about the game. We know how to play it. We know strategies. We know mechanics. We just understand this game on a core level deeper than pretty much everyone else. However, the issue ends up being people take out opinions and like kind of just roll with them. So Zero can make a video saying Jigglepuff is now top tier because whatever. And people, whether or not he's right, maybe he can make the most bullshit reasons unless they sound, as long as they sound right, people will basically agree with him and say, oh my god, Zero said this, therefore it's correct. And that's both a blessing and a curse. Because now you have top player word like our opinions are spreading and it depends on the value of the opinion itself and how good it is. But another issue is so much as a result, the opinions of the medium level players and low level players, the majority of the community, I want to keep this in mind, top level players make up probably 0.1% of the community. 0.1. The 99.9% .9 of the community is made up of all these high and medium and low level players that just kind of like mesh together in tournaments and Reddit and Twitter and all these different smashed forums. And so, their opinions matter. Like, that's the thing. Like, you know, if someone is a mid-level player and they make a good argument on something, they shouldn't be ignored because they're a mid-level player. I mean, of course, if a top-level player says it, you can probably kind of agree with it a bit more because they tend to know what they're talking about more. But, like, if a medium-level player can explain something and say something and basically be, like, smart about it, their opinion matters. Any opinion that can be explained and rationalized matters. And that's just an issue I find is that, especially when customs were a debate, I, of course, at first didn't like, I mean, did want customs. I wanted them for Evo. I realized afterwards, hey, customs suck. But, and then you have people like Zero who said no customs. And I saw a lot of debates on Reddit that would literally be, should we have customs? Yes, because the buzz says so. No, because Zero says so. Yes, because blah, blah, blah says so. No, because blah, blah says so. And you literally had people just saying, hey, look, this player says something, therefore they're right or wrong. And that is a problem. That is something I do not like, and I think it is just once again an issue with the community, like not like just basically taking like what's told for granted. And of course, like you know, like if a player says, "Hey, look, let's nerf Sheik because she's OP and she beats me," or let's nerf Rosalina, or let's buff Luigi without giving reasons why, it just says that, the opinion shouldn't really be taken seriously at all. It's just kind of like, okay, whatever, move on. And so, I just want to like point it out. Because it's just an issue I've, I've commonly noticed, especially with patches. I know Zero blew up about it, and it can be very frustrating to be a top player and to like deal with this sometimes. And so I just wanted to give my like I guess perspective of this and what the community can do and what we should do and what we shouldn't do. I can't say do right, <laughs> but anyway. But yeah, so this was just a very last minute video. It was more of a rant than anything else, but I just wanted to share my opinion. And so with that, guys, um. Give me your thoughts below on this, and I shall see you around, I guess, next video or whatever.